If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. regular flow of traffic comes down to this lake turns around and goes back it happens all day long well yesterday it was happening again and someone came down the road and, and of course they gave us a, a an odd look I didn't know what the look was for but you could tell there was definitely something different about these folks driving down than, than anybody else is driving down and so when they turned around to come back they stopped the lady yells at it. she says uh, I know you I used to watch your channel all the time. And I said, oh, really? I said, well, I'm sorry. Why don't you watch anymore? And she says, well, because you started bashing Bob W. and, and Carolyn. Well, for those who don't know who Bob is and, uh, and Carolyn are, they're big time YouTubers who uh, promote the RV living lifestyle. Uh, Bob's big on showing you how to do it. And, and Carolyn's big on showing you how wonderful it is. I said, well, you know, I don't know if I've ever bashed them. I said, there's things I disagree about. And she says, well, you're just ruining people's dreams. I, I don't see that either. I said, if you have a dream and it's powerful enough like mine, then I don't, I shouldn't be ruining anything. And I said, the only thing I'm trying to show is the realistic viewpoints. Instead of just showing all the glamor and glitz and glory, I, you know, I want to show you down the earth. I said, let me give you an example been my dream my entire life to go to Mars and I said well let's just assume that someone starts a charity a nonprofit organization like Bob has that gives away spaceships and that that person makes videos every week showing me how to live in a spaceship and go to Mars and, and is encouraging everybody to take a spaceship to go to Mars I said you know, I, I'm getting to the age where it probably isn't a good idea to go to Mars, yet he's really encouraging this dream and he's going to give me a spaceship and possibly even some money to go to Mars. And I said, you know, I, I just don't know if that's a good idea. And she says, well, you're an adult. You can make decisions on your own and you should be doing the research to find out whether if you can do it or not. And I said, well, that's the problem. I said, there isn't a lot of people out there giving you the downside of, of living in a car or a spaceship. Let's just assume that... I get into this spaceship and I run into a micro meteor shower and it pokes holes inside my ship. No one has made a video on how to deal with that, that crisis. Or a solar flare comes in and I got to live in a closet for six weeks. There's no one who's made a video who's going to show me how to live through that crisis. And I said, that's what I'm trying to show is how to live through that crisis. Again, she says, well, you're, you know, you're an adult. You have to do your own research. I said, let's look at it a different way. Bob has encouraged young folks. He said it many times that more young folks are coming out here to live in their cars, vans, and RVs than any other time before. The people who are buying the most RVs are young people. He has said it several times in his life. What if one of those young people is an 18-year-old girl who has just graduated high school and she has a falling out with her family? So here it is, May time, and she has watched YouTube videos from these two individuals, Bob and Carolyn. And she has decided that that's what she's going to do. She's going to go live in her car in Wisconsin. Got a job at McDonald's and she goes to work every day. And at night she goes, finds the parking lot and she sleeps in the parking lot. Well, here it is. It's getting to be cold and her tires are starting to wear out. And she's got a flat tire. So she puts on the donut tire and she parks in the parking lot in the middle of a snowstorm. And some guy comes up to her and says, uh, what you doing here? Well, you know, I'm down on my luck and I, you know, I got to need to get a tire and he says, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a few hundred bucks if you come to the hotel with me. Okay, is, is this is this the dream? Is this the dream this woman's, this young lady has always had? First of all, it's very unlikely that living in a car was a dream. Much less now having to sell herself to live this, you know, amazing lifestyle. And she says, oh, you're not being realistic now. And I said, I'm being very realistic. I said, I've actually been contacted by two 18-year-olds. And I'm going to give you the story of the second one. She says, she wrote me, she says, I've, uh, I've been watching Bob, but I couldn't find any information about living in a pop-up camper until I saw your channel. And she says, so I'm going to have my dad watch these videos that you make that people can live in a pop-up camper. And I replied back, I said, first of all, I would like to talk to your dad. But before I do, I would like to talk to you and tell you, did you watch the video where someone burned down my pop-up camper? Well, I can guarantee you there is no dream in the world where a young girl has to go to a hotel room with a man. So I told her, I said, or what if they decide to go to Slab City? Which I've actually had some people say it's the armpit of America. I mean, we've had several 
full-time YouTube RVers go to Slab City and talk about how great it is. There, it is a very high crime rate. Police very rarely come around. High drug use. It's a terrible place to be. And so we're going to ask our 18-year-olds to go out there. Or what about this guy, and they made a movie about him, who decides he's going to truck across America because he's angry at his family, and he ends up in Alaska, and he finds a, a bus to live in. And, you know, this is a huge, you know, oh, what a great story. And he died living, doing what he wanted to do and being free. Well, he died in the bus because he ate a plant and they starved to death. One of the most painful, probably one of the most pain, painful deaths that you could have, I would imagine. Starving to death. That would be terrible. And this is supposed to be romantic. This is supposed to be like, you know, live the dream. So then she says, well, well that doesn't explain why you're so angry at uh, Carolyn. And I said, well, I've not really made very many videos about Carolyn. I've made more about Bob, obviously. I said that, you know, the one that I was talking about how Carolyn said that in order to be a nomad, you have to be able to break the rules and violate the laws. She was getting ready to cross over into the Canadian border. And she said, and she hadn't crossed over yet. And she said, the rules and the laws don't apply to us. They don't fit us. Well, what kind of advice is that to 40, 50,000 people? And remember, we're talking about some of these folks who are 18 years old. What about this 18-year-old who decides that she's going to listen to Carolyn and rules and the laws don't apply to us? Is she going to cross over the Canadian border? Here we have 18-year-olds who, who now know that they can live in a car and they, they can cross into border, different borders illegally. Are we really raising a generation of responsible individuals? Or are we raising a generation of a bunch of people who are going to break the laws could not imagine raising a child to live in a car. My girl, my little girl, to live in a car. And she gets so desperate that she has to go and do horrendous things. That's not the way that we should be raising our children. And it's irresponsible for these folks to get on YouTube and tell everybody to come out here, young folks, old folks, middle-aged folks, we all need to come out here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Like, like the video. And have a